Welcome to this video on how to provision a Microtik CHR in AWS. Basically, the steps we're going to follow is create an AWS account, or unless you already have one, sign in. We'll deploy a CHR instance using the free tier. We'll configure security groups and other subnet settings if we needed. Uh, we'll then access the new CHR via the Winbox. We'll enable the free trial license and then we'll go into purchasing and deploying a CHR P1 license. But firstly, quick overview on what Microtik CHR is. It stands for Cloud Hosted Router. It's a full router OS version designed for virtual deployments. It can be hosted on most virtualized platforms uh, such as VMware, Hypervisor, VirtualBox, and it can also be fully deployed in the cloud. Google Cloud, Azure, and in this video, AWS. Okay, let's get started. So firstly, we're gonna head over to aws.amazon.com and create an, an AWS account. So first thing, we'll need an email address. And then give it a name. Okay, we will verify that email. Okay, copy that, paste that in here, verify. Good. Now we're going to pick a password. Next steps. Okay, we'll just fill out some basic information. We're gonna go for personal. Okay, and now it's gonna ask us for our credit card details. Now, as I mentioned before, we're gonna utilize the free tier, which is going, um, allow us to use the, uh, the instance for a year for free. Um, however, should you go over that or only over the uh, allocated usage, which I go into a bit more detail, uh, you shouldn't get charged. Okay, now we just need to verify our identity. So we're going to put a phone number in here. Okay, fill out the verification capture. I think. Okay. Just grab the code and it texts you. Three, six, eight, one. And then support, which we'll just go for the free basic one. And that's it. We now have our very own AWS account. Okay, so if you've never used AWS before, um, it can be a bit daunting. There's a lot in here. Um, but for most of it, we'll, we won't look at it in too much detail because we will, uh, we're just focusing on the EC2 section. Uh, one thing to note is up here, as you can see, it says Sydney. We have a, a list of uh, multiple regions. Um, if for whatever reason you log in and you don't see, find any instances um, configured, just check in that corner to make sure you're in the right region because if for some reason it's default to London, for example, you won't find any instances. This does, however, mean that you can deploy uh, various different applications and uh, servers and whatever they also have to offer in any part of the world. So we'll go back to Sydney and then we're going to go to the EC2. Uh, search for that EC2. Okay, and as you can see, we won't have any instances running, but here we're going to go launch instance.
Okay, let's give it a name. We'll call it THR01. Searching here for my Gerotic. Wait for it to find it on Marketplace. There you go. Select that one. I just need to subscribe on Instant Launch. So we don't end up creating multiple instances. Um, and here, here's the information about the free tier. So effectively, if we stick to a T2 micro or a T3 micro in regions where the T2 micro doesn't exist, uh, we will get five, uh, 750 hours of free usage, which if we do hours in a month, you can see we get 730. So we're well within that. The only other thing to watch out for is we get 100 gig of bandwidth um, a month. So should you be planning to use this for, you know, uh, a VPN server where you're going to be transferring large amounts of data, then just be mindful of that fact. And then perhaps um, in the billing, you can set up usage alerts that will alert you should you're going to be going over that amount so you don't end up with a, a bill every month. Um, but should you stay within that, you should get, uh, shouldn't pay anything. Okay, so carry on with the launching. We're going to launch one. We're going to go for the T2 Micro because that's the free tier. Uh, key pair. We will proceed without a key pair um, because we're not going to be SSHing into this device. We're we'll going to be using Winbox. Um, create security group. So. For the time being, we'll allow SSH. In fact, no, we won't allow SSH. We don't need SSH at the moment. Uh, don't need to change the storage. All is good. Launch instance. Okay, it will just build everything in the background. Okay, we are all done. Now click on this link here. This gives us our instance ID. There we go, up and running already. So just to go back over what I mentioned earlier, if we get rid of, just show any, all the instances we've got, we did only one. If I was to change this again to say London, we would show that we have no, um, no instances configured here. Which is the only reason I'm pointing it out, should you log in and I've had it before, where for some reason I've been set to North Virginia, for example, and work can work out why I've lost everything. Go back to Sydney. Okay, and that's it. So the only thing we need to do now is sort our security group out because at the moment we wouldn't be able to get to it. Okay, this is the new one we generated okay inbound rules as you can see we've got no inbound outbound we should have allowed just allow everything out inbound we need to edit those so we're add a rule so we would add eight two nine one now the source you can set to uh, a specific range so if you've got a range of ips or multiple IPs you need to put in uh, a line for each one um, you can select my IP which will use the IP that you're currently connecting via um, but for now we're just going to allow it for anywhere just for this demo but yeah I would recommend you lock it down to a uh, if you have some way of having a static IP um, public IP address that you can access it from it just you know, prevents any issues so we should be done now one thing just to check and just to show you when you're on the instance here just to confirm what security for some reason you still can't log in it's just a good place to check your security group and it will tell you um, this is the name of the security group 
and that was the one that we just configured because now you can see that the winbox port in there so you could have you know you could configure lots of different instances um and then have different security groups for the type of instance or you know its purpose or whatever the application might be so let's go to copy our public ip address and put it into here and connect the default admin no password let's set a new password change and there we go we are in okay now we're in let's have a look at the license side of things so as you can see it says free license here and that basically means this is unlimited oh, sorry this is this doesn't expire um, however it does limit us to 10 megabits per second which I don't know about you but nowadays is uh, not very much so what it does allow us to do though is we can have a, a trial microtech license for two weeks so to get that what we need to do is head over to microtech.com oh, nearly come okay let me go to account all right we're gonna register Okay, proceed to login. Go back to our email. We should have some login details. Okay, we've got our temporary password. Login. Okay, right, we're in. So we go back to our Winbox. So now we're going to click on Renew License. Now it's going to ask us for those login details. Password and start. There we go. So now we've got our P1 license, which is valid until yeah, two weeks' time. Okay. So if we then have a look on our Microtech account. We go to all CHR keys. You'll see this is now here. It's, it's the P1 perpetual. So it's a P1, which gives us. Doesn't say that. Uh, P1 will give us one gig uh, throughput, um, and then expiry date, and then the system ID is tied into. Oh, I've closed it already. This system ID up here. So if you were to generate a new ID, you'd have to uh, redo the process. So now we do have the option to upgrade. Here's the option. So we've got a P1 perpetual. They're all perpetual effectively, which means they're one-off cost. P1 gives you one gig, P10 gives you 10 gig, and P unlimited, as you can probably guess, is unlimited. So this one gig one would probably be adequate for most use cases at the moment uh, 45 US dollars so looking about 70 Australian and 35 um, pounds sterling um, or if you needed 10 gig um, yeah so there'd be plenty there um, you simply get to upgrade and then you can proceed to check out and you can purchase it through through Microtech directly. There are other um, 
you can purchase for other vendors who will um, require your uh, Microtik username and then they would simply apply that license. Um, the other thing is once you've purchased this license you, and then say you close this instance down because you wanted to move it somewhere else, you can literally um, transfer it between other devices once they're um, associated with the Microtik portal. Well, there we go that's pretty much it we're all uh, up and running we can now ready to do what we want with this um so in terms of you know protection firewall we do have the aws security group so we don't necessarily need to add any uh, input filters or anything here um, unless you wanted to open it up from aws and then do your drop of dropping of you know stuff you don't want here but i wouldn't recommend it let AWS to the, the grunt um, and then based on your use case you obviously just need to then allow those uh, ports or protocols through depending on what you're going to use it for so um, in the next video we'll, we'll look at configuring a VPN server that we can connect our various devices to we'll look at both doing a L2TP, uh, L2TP server as well as an IKEV2 um because anyone that's got an android device which is uh, older than android version 12 i think um you can no longer use l2tp so uh yeah it's useful to have okay there we go i hope this has been of some use to some people uh if you've got any other questions or um thoughts please leave in the comments below there's links below as well in the description to uh to my website which has uh lots of other tutorials and articles um there's step-by-step -step instructions about creating the l2t l2tp tunnels as well as uh launching this instance on there um you can also comment on there if you've got any feedback it's always welcome um please like subscribe and uh see you on the next one cheers